We may not immediately think of our heart as a collection of individual cells, but it is the complex interaction of numerous cell types that give the heart its ability to pump blood. Some cells form heart connective tissue, other cells grow into heart valves. And muscle cells give the heart its ability to beat and pump blood throughout the body. A single cell beats when a complex series of gates, called ion channels, open and close in an organized manner. Cell physiologists can measure how these ion channels work using a technique called the patch clamp. Single heart muscle cells spontaneously contract when grown in cell culture, this cell is grown on a flexible rubber substratum. Each time the cell contracts, it pulls on the substratum, which becomes wrinkled. Although individual heart cells can beat with their own rhythms, they are coordinated in an intact heart so that all cells beat synchronously. This is called beating in unison. As long as the beating cells do not touch one another, their beats are independent, some are faster. Some are slower. But after two or three days, the myocytes form interconnected sheets of cells that beat in unison. The gap junctions open between adjacent touching cells, making their cytoplasms interconnected. It is these gap junctions that ensure that the connected cells work as one. If the cells of the adult don't beat in unison, heart arrhythmias can occur. Electronic pacemakers may sometimes be used in a patient whose heart doesn't beat in rhythm.